All right, here we are at the new Drury Plaza Hotel at Disney Springs. I am Bill Zanetti, and this is a tour of room suite 616. Now this might actually be the nicest room in all of Walt Disney World um, yeah, for the price. Uh, the price is ridiculously cheap for a two-room suite, but more on that later. First things first, when you enter, uh, they do have the card system, which is a kind of a Drury standard thing where you have to put your room key in here to activate the lights. You get used to that. But look, right when you come in, you have a microwave and a cooler and a coffee maker and a sink. And uh, this place just opened today, so... This might be the very first review on the property. <laughs> um, you have a wonderful little microwave. Not a huge one, but it works. There we are. Let's see the wattage. I'm curious. I don't see any. Here it is. Uh, it doesn't say. This is such a small one. I bet it's probably like a 700 watt microwave. It doesn't seem like it's a thousand watts, so a little bit slower cooking time. Limited TV channels, but that's kind of expected for a jury and how often you're going to be on TV here. Looks like it's a dish, though, so take a look at that in a bit. Two uh, old USB ports over here built in. Not sure why they did that. I think. There you go. Then we have uh, a seating area here. Now this room is advertised to fit up to six guests. Most other rooms here are only for five guests. Um, we have a pull-out sofa, as you can see. And they're, they're so good at Drury. They tell you where everything is when you want to use something as a pull-out sofa. There's a nice picture of downtown Orlando there in Lake Eola. This room uh, looks like it's an adjoining room, so you can expand it to include an additional room if you need that much. We have a little hallway. Another wonderful thing about Drury, you have an extra vanity out in this hallway. Ah, there I am. Then over here we have the bathroom. This is where the door is. So this is the area that can be closed off and there's a sink in here as well. Plenty of counter space, additional space below. You have a great trash can. Great trash can. It's a trash can. Um, you do have uh, Kleenex brand tissues, which is really important uh, to some people. Uh, and that's a Drury standard. Uh, their toilet paper always, always leaving. Torque toilet paper is just awful. Um, so that's the only negative I'll ever give Drury is that their toilet paper quality is not great. But everything else is usually fantastic in a room. It's brand new. It's very clean. There's a no bathtub, keep that in mind, but there's a nice walk-in shower. Now some rooms I assume do have bathtubs, but this one does not. So just a big walk-in shower. And you can see the products here. Body wash, shampoo, and conditioner. Here's the shower head. You get an idea for that. And it's nice because the handle's way back here, so. Oops. A lot more water pressure than I thought right off the bat. Yeah, that's a good, good amount of pressure. And clearly these have all been tested ahead of time, but not by me. There's a hair dryer in there. Oh, it's a, look at that. It has the, uh, the attachment for really blowing very specifically. That's nice. And then the bedroom. So this is a uh, one with a king-size bed. Um, you do have a simple closet here. You have an ironing board, iron. Couple hangers on two different rows to make space of that. There's the additional linens if you wanted to make up the sofa bed. And a small safe. Pretty standard stuff in a hotel room. Magnetically closes. Full-length mirror. That's always nice. Behind me, there's another mirror. This is kind of cool because you can actually see that. You can see the other mirror in the back of the mirror. So if you really need to 
see the back of your head, that might be possible. But I feel like the door should be the other way for that. You have a desk. Well, it is truly a desk. And you have USB-C and regular USB and two plugs here, cordless phone. If you're not familiar with Drury, Drury Plaza is a little bit more upscale than Drury Inn, so do not consider them the same. They are very different. Uh, the product of Plaza is much, much nicer than an inn. Although I, I don't mind the inns, but the Plazas are just a much nicer hotel. There's my bag on the floor there, but that's okay. On the side of the bed, we have a nightstand with a deep drawer. USB and USB-C, or old, old USB and USB-C, and two plugs. This bed was made by Jennifer. I'm sure she wants a tip. And on the other side, you have a alarm clock. See, I'm not really a fan of these, but I guess they're okay. It's brand new. You can see that it's brand new. It still has the, the little sticky uh, protective coating on it. But here you have two USB ports. And then two plugs as well. Yeah, no USB-C on this side. I don't know if it's like that in all the rooms. Yep, and a Bible. Pretty standard stuff. And then, oh, another trash can there, which is nice. And then uh, the view. Nothing fancy about these drapes. You push them open yourself. Nope. The wall starts there, so... Uh, but here's the view of this room, and you can see the beautiful, beautiful pool area. Um, it overlooks Lake Buena Vista. Yes, folks, this is actually Lake Buena Vista, not the lake over in Disney Springs. That's it. So this is truly uh, kind of cool. Then you have a jacuzzi and a splash pad area. Looks like the splash pad's not turned on, but it certainly works because it's wet over there. There might be like an activation button you hit. Then there's a huge outdoor area. So it looks like that they have the cafe down there and their tables and chairs set up so you can eat. There's a couple people already in the pool. There's a maintenance worker over in the convention center. They have a small conference center. I wouldn't call it, oh, they even have a sign that says conference center. I don't know if you can see that on video, but it's a conference center, not a convention center. Those are smaller. Um, it's the new type of hot tub. So you don't have to have that ugly stand thing there. I don't know if you know what I'm talking about, but this device is for guests that have disabilities and they need an easier way to lower them into the pool. You have one for the pool, but for the hot tub, it's smaller. Some children that are going into the hot tub there. Just a beautiful, beautiful view. So, And, of course, the air conditioning. That's always an interesting piece. This is back in... Looks like I can set it all the way down to 60. Well, that's nice. I have control over your air conditioner. Now, of course, if you leave, everything will turn off uh, because of the uh, the room key feature for the uh, the door, because you take your key with you. And I'll show you how that works. I'm gonna take the key out, and it actually doesn't do it immediately, uh, which is also a staple of Drury. There's a usually a couple minute delay, so you can get your things and get out. And then everything will turn off when you leave. Um, but that's it. And that's meant to control every power outlet in the room. I'm not sure if it actually does. Sometimes they leave some outlets that keep power. But if you leave the if you leave the card key in there, it shouldn't be an issue. So I always tell people just bring an extra card or ask for an extra key when you check in. Um, they're pretty easy about that. So, but that's it. If you enjoyed this tour of the sweet at the Drury Inn, please leave a like and uh, I will do some more videos on the hotel itself and hopefully I'll do a full-on review later uh, of the hotel. So take care everybody. Bye-bye.